How much do you like your ears? Launching a new audio tech brand is a tough call. There's a trend towards removing audio hardware and phones, leading to a rush of wireless options for consumers who don't want to keep track of diddly little dongles. There's one school of thought, trying to impress with truly wireless earbuds. The flip side is going after the high-end market, dominated by brands like Sony, Bose, and Sennheiser. You gotta have a good hook, and the folks at Audira think they have something that might catch your eye. Or catch your ear. The A01 are high-end Bluetooth Circumaural headphones with an interesting hook. This company is founded by a doctor who was looking for a way to deliver better hearing tests and then adapted that technology for a consumer product. I'll let him explain. So we set about building a medical grade audiogram that we could just put inside a set of headphones. To do an audiogram, you basically plug a set of headphones into a computer. So we just took the computer and put it inside the headphones. And you can test as many times as you like, which lets you monitor your hearing over time. And as your hearing changes, your headphones are going to change with you. But the best part, is that the headphones learn exactly what they need to change to make the music perfect for you. They make it better, not louder. You're not gonna use glasses that aren't adjusted to your vision. Why would you use headphones that aren't adapted to your hearing? Listen better, not louder. A philosophy that hits really close to home for me as a former audio engineer. The design of the Audira are simple and sophisticated. A headband which reminds me of my old Nokias and cushy ear cups that recall bows. A nice combination and you can get them in any color you want, so long as you only want black. Couldn't help myself. For the tasteful simplicity of the casing, there might be a touch more logo badging than I would prefer at this price point text, logos, and the company name on the headband. Micro USB charging next to the noise reduction switch. The opposite ear cup has a 3.5 millimeter input, volume controls, play pause, pretty standard stuff. Now, this is a first generation product competing against manufacturers that have been delivering for decades, some for generations which means there are a few build quality criticisms I need to share. The switches have a nice clicky action, but buttons are really tiny and low profile. There's nothing to delineate other than swiping across all three with your finger and then working from the top down to make an adjustment. The headband has a great flex and decent top padding to take pressure off your skull, but the extension feels kind of sticky. These, these arms are kind of cheap. Though the cups were nearly perfect for encompassing my ears. Wearing them on a couple flights, they were comfortable enough for hours of listening without being too fatiguing. How headphones fit your head though is super personal. And I have seen some complaints about the AL1 being claustrophobic or a bit stiff. So like all headphones, your mileage will vary. And this is a silly nitpick, but giant L's and R's printed in the ear cups are practical, but I would have preferred a more subtle delineator, something classier like the tactile nubs on Sennheiser headsets. Adira includes a nice travel case, but I think many travelers would have preferred a collapsible design to save space. Bluetooth 4.0 with aptx support and a 1000 milliamp hour battery boasting over 30 hours of wireless playback with noise reduction and audio processing enabled that jumps to 65 hours of playback with noise reduction when you use a cabled connection that audio processing is enabled through an app on your phone and is the differentiating factor here against a bulk of the competition adira has designed a comprehensive hearing test to balance and augment frequencies of sound your ears might not be catching anymore. Hearing degrades over time. This strategy seeks to replace the parts of your music which are lacking due to age or ear damage. There are several companies playing this game right now. HTC and Samsung offer plugins that quick scan, and I was very impressed with Bear Dynamic Solution on the Avento Wireless. Adira offers several tiers of testing from a quick scan to a near frequency complete individual ear medical grade assessment. You can imagine which one I opted for. It took about 15 minutes of active listening. I think most people would grossly underestimate how long and how mentally taxing 15 minutes of listening can be. So what I should have is the most complete profile of my hearing loss and how to properly compensate exactly for my unique biology. And my biology is very unique. JK, I'm like peak of the bell curve average in nearly every way, but I digress. This should deliver the truest representation of the music I enjoy, right? And the AL1 are good. Dare I say, very good? 
question mark? Without the ear scan processing enabled, the headset is about par for a wireless closed back solution. Bass feels overrepresented, mids are a little dull, especially where good vocal rasp might live, but that's not why you'd buy these. Enabling the EQ processing based on my profile opened up mids and highs, specifically where I'm likely to need it due to hearing loss. Voices float on top of rock much more pleasantly. Jazz and classical are well represented, strings and vibrato dancing over beds of upright bass and cello. These are not gonna be top picks though for folks who like skull rumbling electronica or club tracks. A lot of hearing degradation happens in the high end of the spectrum, which this processing seeks to replace. So that's often going to be balanced by a more conservative low frequency adjustment. Adira is trying to prevent you from turning up the volume to compensate for underrepresented frequencies, but this isn't magic. So the compromise here is bass heavy tracks feeling lighter and brighter than they probably should. We are talking about manipulating the audio before it hits your ears. So there are a couple of things to consider. Audira was very smart to include profile adjustments. You can rescan at any time or keep multiple profiles for multiple users. And you can dial in more or less manipulation as you see fit. I top out at 75% no matter what I did with my ear scans and usually kept the slider to 50% of my custom EQ adjustment. No matter how long I listened and rescanned my profile, moving up to 100% was unpleasantly bright. My favorite songs got brittle and the lows were severely undervalued. We'll likely never completely replicate the more natural sound of open back cans on closed back active noise reduction enabled headphones but this kind of processing helps. In general, the AL-1 like to highlight a more nuanced audio soundstage, not overly weighting bass or bumping up smiley face EQ for ear candy. The claim is that wearing the Audira should be for your ears, what wearing glasses would be for your eyes. I can't say the effect was that profound, but listening for a while, then disabling my custom profile, my favorite tracks did feel muddy. It's an interesting bit of psychology, but this is still EQ filtering. Depending on the track, the result can feel a little forced or edgier than high quality audio competitors when plugged into hardware with decent EQ controls. Say you had an LG for an example, you can kind of get close with the LG Music app and an okay pair of Bluetooth cans, but I never could get right on top of what I liked from the AL1s. While the focus on this commentary is obviously music, something interesting happens with the AL1 when watching films. Thankfully, I didn't experience any deal-breaking lag watching video, streaming on Netflix, Bluetooth 4.2, and aptX doing its job there. Like music, the audio processing here also tends to conservatively balance bass against mids and highs. You lose a bit of that satisfying thump from action sound effects, but if you're one of those people who struggle to pick out dialogue from movie soundtracks or action sequences, these headphones deliver a pretty significant perk. Okay, switching gears, the noise reduction on tap is subtle and mellow. Closed back with active microphone scanning, it's good attenuation, just shy of the passive reduction you'd get from great fitting inner aural earbuds or the active reduction of top players like Bose or my old Nokia 905s. The AL1 are gonna do a very good job cutting engine noise from air travel, and thankfully they don't add a lot of air or hiss to get that job done. And that brings me to the price. There are a lot of great, truly great options around this price point. This is supremely competitive territory, and manufacturers know there's a consumer base looking to invest in high quality wireless options that will outlast whatever phone they're currently using. Like I said earlier, you need a good hook, and the hearing test is a pretty decent hook. The company's philosophy is worth factoring into the cost of these headphones. It's a new brand, a boutique brand, and offering a product with a specific focus, listen better, not louder. I recently had a sit down interview with one of the top audiologists in the country to talk about increased hearing loss in kids and young adults. And hearing health is often disregarded in discussions of consumer electronics. Any product which reminds you encourages you to employ healthier listening habits and gives you detailed tools to track that hearing health deserves a place at the table, even against some kind of purist audiophile discussion. I might like the build quality better on some competitors. I might like the soundstage better on some others. But there's something really special here. Adira has gone a long way towards persuading me that maybe, just maybe, the best EQ 
is not flat EQ. Food for thought. I'll have some links down below this video where you can find more info on the Adira A01 and shop these puppies online. As always, thanks so much for watching. Alongside the Audira links, there's also info on how you can support production on this channel. I have a master list of affiliates and partnerships on somegadgetguy.com, or you could consider contributing directly by visiting patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. Home to all of my deep dive camera and audio reviews, early access to videos, and it's becoming a fun community of like-minded gadget fans. I hope you'll check it out. You know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Facebooks and the Twitters and the Instagrams, and I will catch you on the next review.